give up putting, oh Lord, I see I done made all the way through without getting emotional. It's it's like getting emotional. emotional. <laughs> <laughs> so I, had, I had to give up. Welcome! Welcome. Temptation. 
Like if you know you stay around these kind of certain people that make you want to act a certain way or do a certain thing that God has delivered you from, don't don't go to the back of our game and hang around there. Um, I used to love R&B music, rap music, and God had to deliver me for that because that was just something like music. I love music. God had to be like, no, not gonna do that in his lifestyle. Like I don't watch certain things. I make sure I don't listen to certain things. I make sure I don't talk to certain people because I just don't want to be displeasing in God's sight. Like you're telling him not to lead you in temptation, but you keep going in the way that you know where it ends up every time. Like when it's saying, I don't sit in the way that you're going Like she said, what is it like that, you know, is a way for you? Like, I'm, like she said, I'm not going to hang around those people. I'm not going to go to this place. I'm not going to watch this movie. I'm not going to. There's, there's different there's different things. Before it started, like two consecrations ago, I gave up um, movie, watching movies during consecration. Like watching TV besides Pure Flix. Y'all know Pure Flix? Mm -hmm. yeah. I was watching a movie that I didn't have no business watching. And just like the ratings and the, the you know how you're spiritually vexed. If you got the Holy Ghost, you're spiritually vexed when you hear these cuss words. You shouldn't just be able to be mm -hmm. sitting down, listening to stuff, watching stuff. You know what they be doing right. with these TVs. Like, right. And um, so the fact that I wasn't really moved by that, something was wrong. She tickles what he knows may be a weak area for you or what he knows will get your attention. Right. That's what he's going to go for. He's going to go for. He's strategic. He's cunning. Yes. He's cunning. He's a warm lion seeking whom he may devour. So he's very strategic when he does. He's not going to go for something that, you know, is not a big thing for you. For somebody who may be like drinking, like, I never drunk, I've never tasted it, so I'm not going to be easily You're not going to go after it. Right. But for somebody else, maybe that's, that's not the family they grew up in. Maybe that's all they did. So just being around that, you know, family events and stuff like that, they can't handle it. So the devil knows. You know, we can't he go. knows. He delivered us, which means he can do anything. Mm -hmm. That means he can keep us. Mm -hmm. You know, so why go back to it? Mm -hmm. Now, if you go back to it, you might not make it out, out. this time, the next yes. time. All right. yes. So he always, you know, he would, well, I get that reminder, like, don't, mm -hmm. you cannot be entangled with the things that you mm -hmm. once was in mm -hmm. and has been delivered from. Right, don't entertain it. Since that conversation, I've been, now, like, um, I, like, listen to sermons going to sleep. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really watch TV anymore mm -hmm. now. I will play sermons on my way to church. I, I mean, on my way to school, like, in the car, I mean, like, that's what I, that's my TV now. Yeah. And it, I've learned that it's it's also feeding my spirit, man, yeah. so that I can be in that mindset throughout the day, like you know, thinking about because before my, I was it was my flesh was so strong, mm -hmm. my flesh was so strong, and that's something I heard somebody say: when you feed your spirit and you're not feeding your flesh, your flesh weakens, just like in the natural. When you're not eating, mm -hmm. you're strong yourself, you you become weak. Right. So if you don't feed your flesh, or you you know you you feed more to your spirit, mm -hmm. then that means your spirit's gonna overpower. Your flesh, your flesh is gonna be flesh you with. Right. Like flesh is it, it's flesh. But when you have the Holy Ghost and when you're feeding your spirit, it overpowers. Flesh is nothing yes. compared to that. You can still have to cast things down with it, right? When you have power and you have strength in that area, you can Okay, so power six and twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Amen. 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 You still look at Amen. <laughs> My son, keep thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. So something that, at least I can speak for myself, but I know some other church people, cheap church kids know, mm -hmm. you didn't go over to Sally Susan and Johnny's house. Like, you barely went over to Sister Mary's. Like, you yeah, <laughs> And now I'm going older. You don't know, like, like you said, you're get God in your gateway, especially when we're young, we're vulnerable to the devil. He does not care mm -hmm. He, how cute you are when you look young. To him, that's an opportunity. But I say that to say, like, when it comes to, like, not being able to go to everybody's houses, when you're going to your gateways, if you're at somebody else's houses and they seem to be a certain way, it's like, oh, no, they're just, you know, their best friends from school, blah, 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 blah. Something can happen or just the, the way they speak, the way they talk, it could corrupt your ears. Mm -hmm. Like, the way they speak, something they say, um, something could happen, you know, things are happening. Like, people are getting, girls are getting raped, I mean, by people, you know, fathers and all that kind of stuff. And even through that, it was like God, it was like my parents, God was using my parents to guard my parents at a young yes. age, guarding what I even saw that I wasn't used to seeing because, you know, I grew up in a holy household. So God, God what we see, what we hear, God, what, what we smell, smoke, yeah. just yeah. different stuff. Oh, yeah. Should have y'all extinguish our kids? Yes. Um, oh, right yes. now, I have that, um, <laughs> you know, with Renaya, she's going to be a teenager. And I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> we love you, Renaya. I was younger, I was a loud girl, mm -hmm. um, so I think that has a lot 
to do with it, but like you said, people grow up in different environments. You don't know what's going on in people's houses. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you try not to, like when my kids, all my kids know I'm very upfront with them about everything, how I feel, mm -hmm. you know, and I just have to let her know, like, I'm your mother, I am supposed to protect you as yes. much as I can. Because everybody, you know, somebody can say they say, don't they necessarily yeah. say, right. test the spirit! What you prove the light? Exactly. Like I said, I have boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, you're not standing up. Sleep over it. <laughs> and I don't want nobody sleeping over at my house. And, and like you said, it only takes for one thing to it's happen. Um, kids out here having sex, mm -hmm. getting drunk. Yep. Oh my gosh, I thought I was crazy back in the day. <laughs> it's nothing compared to like it is Ooh, now. I'm not. Um, not saying you can't do nothing, but you know, you gotta be mindful. Like, I'm your mom and I know what's best for you right now. Mm -hmm. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> not the best on the day. Okay. Not the best on the day. I always think about that. And that's amazing for you to say, like, 
your before you were in the world, you thought you had it all together. Like you I thought thought you could do anything by yourself. So for you to be now saying to be like, I can't do nothing without him. Nothing. Literally nothing. That's how I feel. Yeah. So he had to break me down. He had to break you to build me back up, huh? Does it make no sense? He had to break you down to build you back up. Down. He lost. I had to hit rock bottom. Come on, talk about it. And I'm glad because, you know, I think about that. I said, Lord, I'm so grateful. Like, that's why I'm just like, I don't know. I express um, with my praise and stuff, mm -hmm. like just the gratitude. Mm -hmm. The Lord, just so many times I, I could have been gone. Come on, you know, my situa situations I was in, yes. didn't even know I was in danger. You know, but God, you know, I said, Lord, thank you for mm -hmm. keeping your hands on me mm -hmm. um, because I didn't know. Um, so I guess, like, even now, that's why, you know, I'm always witnessing to people. I'm always letting people know. She like, big though. She big though. Yes, God. <laughs> it ain't nobody but the Lord. It ain't me. It ain't me. It's the Holy Lord. At the end, everything that we do as Christians, born again believers, you know, you really live for him. Mm -hmm. You're going to get rewarded at the end. It's your real. So I always say, Lord, help me to endure. Help me to um, suffer mm -hmm. for Christ's sake. Yes. And when you do that, everything is okay. Because at the end of the day, he's still God. He's still God. He's in control. Yeah. And he can keep you. If you want to be kept, he can keep you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm thinking about... <laughs> no, no, go ahead. <laughs> I'm me. What happened? So I need to go about it. My spiritual birthday is coming up this Sunday. Oh. I got saved on February the 5th. It just came to me. It just came to me. I got saved on February the 5th. Oh, oh, yeah. 2017. So you do the math. Almost six years ago. <laughs> Not the <laughs> Understanding. So like she was saying, you can't take everybody's advice. Mm -hmm. 
you can't take it for granted. But that could be um, like for me to go to. We have mothers in the church. We have ministers. We have a pastor. We have those that are actually saved. Right. Because some that I heard before, you know how you want to go to somebody if you, if something happens or you you're feeling bad for yourself, self pity. You're gonna want to go to somebody who's gonna pat you on the back. You know, right. like you know even if you're in the wrong, wrong. Uh -huh. it's like you, your flesh is like. Well, you know she's gonna cut you down. Always the bottom. But you know, that's my mom, y'all. She's going to give it to me straight. Like, okay. Well, yeah, that was one of the juicy little things. But you wanna go to that to that friend, to that sis, uh -huh. to that sis that's like, yeah, okay, we didn't need that. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Or you know, I feel so yeah. bad. That is a situation. God put you in. I'm so sorry. Let's cry for three hours. But my mom had to teach me because I'm an emotional person, and the devil will really use that against me. And she had to be like, don't cry on that thing. And don't stay there. Self-pity. And that's what the God that was in about. Self-pity. Don't stay there. And, and don't keep going back to it after you leave. Yeah. Don't keep going back. Seek that. And then and that's wise counsel. If you go to somebody that will just be like, yeah, I'm so sorry. They're not saying nothing that's going to make you feel better. Go to God. And that's another thing. It's not just seeking wise counsel. Um, like from humans, but the word of God. Oh, God. And it's going to make you see yourself. Is that the and if it not, it's going to all up. <laughs> Chasing, it's better to get cut by the word yes. than get somebody fleshly to help you heal what well, God wants to cut anyways to help you get out of your heart. Oh, <laughs> and I, I can think about a situation and I was talking to my sister in Christ and she was like, she, I told her what I was feeling before. And she was basically like, all right, well, what did you promise God? Because mm -hmm. it was a situation where I told God, okay, blah, 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 blah. She was like, well, what did you say? Remember what you said? Remember what you told me that you told God? Mm -hmm. And that cut me. I, there was nothing else that needed to be said. And I'm like, I did tell God that I was going to trust him. Mm -hmm. I told God that I was, I've been giving it to him. So why am I, like, worrying? Why and sometimes am I, when you give, when you do give it to God, or say that you're giving it to God, he's not going to answer you right away. Mm -hmm. So you have to you give him time. be still. Give it to him. Snatched them back and cried, How can you be so slow? 
my child, he said, what could I do? You never did let go. And from that, I was like, you oh, just yeah, show, yeah. you just show love <laughs> and perfection at the same at the time. time. That's what you know. Yes. Understanding. <laughs> that was so good. See, um, sometimes we can get in the way. Yes. In the way. You Most know, huh. for what God wants to do. You know, you think about the children of Israel, you know, how they was disobedient, mm -hmm. you know. So it could have been one way, but you know, y'all want to rebel against God. So he said, okay. I got to do what I said I was going to do. Yeah. I said you're going to be what you sow. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be what you sow. Yeah, you have to be obedient. So, um, but we all, you know, we all had a yes, hard Yes, that's what's up with you. But all thank, right. thank God for grace and mercy. And now you're going through with God. Yes, it's a consequence. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, I'm not, I mean. I'm with you now. Right. At least you can say I'm with you. You're going to get through right. this because you're right. right now. And, you know, you learn from that experience. You learn from your lesson. God, like, he don't want us to look to nobody. to nobody. But, you know, you know, so I always think about that. Like, don't put nobody or nothing before God. Um, he's a jealous God. And so, of course, we're here for one another. But Gosh, he should be first. He should be first. Let him first. You know, I have learned, I thank God, like, when I'm going through, I have to go to the main source. My main source is God. Like, I'm going to him first. If I go to anybody, like, Lord, you first. Then I'll call, you know, if I need to call y'all or whatever. Um, but he has taught me to truly depend on him, especially in this season. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Yes. In this season. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just grateful. And it's okay to say that because God did with me something that happened. I was disturbed. Mm -hmm. Like, I was mad at this experience. And um, I was, like, avoiding talking to God. It was like I was just, I wanted to sit in that. Or I was just, you know, it was more so like my anger was just blocking, mm -hmm. like, my sensibleness. Like, I was so mad in my head that I just couldn't think straight. Like, mm -hmm. and it was like, God, of course you need to talk to God. It's like, I'm so mad right now. Like, 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 this is irritating. I'm irritated. I talked to my sister in Christ. Did not have a thing because, I mean, what she said was very wise. I mean, it was very wise. <laughs> but it went in and it was like, dang, that was good. But, but I was still mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I still mad? I finally went to my prayer corner. And I ended up sleeping there that night. But I finally went to my prayer <laughs> That's corner. Right. That's all right. That's all right. I went to my prayer corner. Many times. I was my prayer partner, and I was just like, God, I'm sorry, like, I've been avoiding you pretty much. Like, my anger, I'm telling you, it's like, it made things cloudy, like, I couldn't think straight. And I was my prayer partner, and I, told, I was talking to God, you know, just let him know, like, God, this is what I'm feeling. God, I'm sorry, I avoided you, I should have been come to you. It was like, it hit me while I was talking, I'm like, I feel better. Like, how did I just go from, he would give you angry to, I don't even know where this comes I don't even know where the anger, I don't even know where I called down. <laughs> but it just, and I think, I think, I told that to God too. I was like, I feel better. <laughs> I, I said, I was like, I feel better. Like, I was holding on to all this, trying to go to somebody else who is wise, but God was doing like, all that time, he's saying, come to me. Yes. You talk to that person, still mad. Mm -hmm. yeah. And guess what happened? You came to me and came to remember where the anger left you. <laughs> huh? I said, God, you you're amazing. amazing. I learned my lesson. Yes. He's not like a far-fetched God. He's not like somebody that like you pray to and nothing happens. Mm -hmm. He's my joy. It's a learner to me. Like, how in the world did I go from feeling that disturbed to calm to a place of now I'm listening to service in my prayer corner. Mm -hmm. I fall asleep. Like, I can move on. First Corinthians 10 and 12. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, I was just saying she put them in order on the Gala app. How you alphabetical? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like X would be first. I'm like, what? Girl, <laughs> girl, that's <laughs> not Genesis. <laughs> this shit is about to be